Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Heather, I'm the Bent Yogi. Welcome to day 20 of our 28 day yoga challenge. I'm so glad you're here with me again today. Today, let's get started in child's pose. And you can have your hands forward with your knees wide. You can take your knees together and your arms and hands alongside. And just start to feel your breath. Feel that you have the space to breathe, right? the time to breathe, the space and the time and the support right? to take care of yourself. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. And once more, take a big inhale, fill up a little pause at the top. And as you exhale, ah, you can open your mouth, exhale, relax your jaw, soften your shoulders and your face. Feeling that you have the time and the space and the support to take care of yourself. And so you might also feel similarly that whatever you're carrying around with you, just for the, the 20 minutes of this practice, you can put that stuff aside. Tune in to what you need. We talked about that yesterday, tuning in. Tune in to what you need. And feel that in this time you can meet your needs. This practice can help you meet your needs. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale. Take another deep breath in here. And a big exhale. From here, walk your hands a little more forward, spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes under, lift your hips, and come on into your downward facing dog. And if it feels better, to stay in child's pose, then by all means, stay in your child's pose, right? This is, this is your time. We're practicing together, but this is your practice. This is your time. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. And if a little bit of movement feels good, maybe bending one knee and then the other, or moving your head around a little bit, maybe you alternate between a downward dog and a child's pose. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. And from here, walk your hands back towards your feet. You can bend your knees as you walk your hands back. Take your time with this. Set your feet to about hips width distance if they're not there already. And come on into your rag doll. You can let your hands dangle. You can rest your hands on props. If it works, bringing opposite hand into the crook of opposite elbow. If it feels better to stay more upright and rest your elbows on your thighs, you can do that. But if you can start to explore this forward fold, letting your head drop, then you might feel that you can put aside some of the stuff that you carry around with you. You might be able to drop some of that stuff, even if it is just for the time that we're here, or even just for a breath. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Here, release your hands, walk your feet closer together or to touch, and come on up to stand. Set your feet, ground down, lift up, reach your hands up, look up a big inhale. Hands to your heart, exhale. You can set your gaze here, lower your gaze or close your eyes. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. As you inhale, sweep your hands up, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Find your halfway lift, your flat back. Bring your hands to your mat and walk yourself out to your high push-up. Once you get into your high push-up, your high plank, knees lifted or lowered, take a big breath in, forward and halfway down, low push-up chaturanga. You can drop your knees here or come all the way down. 
Inhaling. Upward facing dog. Maybe you work with a cobra or a low cobra. Take an extra breath in here. Exhale. Back to your downward dog or your child's pose. Take a long breath in. And a long breath out. Breathe in. Empty out. Once more, take a big inhale, fill up. Exhale lightly, step or jump to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, flat back, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up to stand from the ground. Lift up, reach up, you can look up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, flat back, inhale, hands to your mat, step back, high push up, forward and halfway down, low push up. Elbows squeezing in, upward dog, still moving forward. Big inhale, lead with your heart, exhale, back to your downward dog or your child's pose. And really feel that, your downward dog or your child's pose or even another variation. Give yourself the room to take care of yourself and enjoy this time that you have. Take another deep breath in here. Exhale lightly, step or jump to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up to stand. Big breath, fill up, lift up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, hands to your mat, high push up. Forward and halfway down, low push up, or all the way down. Upward dog, a full breath in, downward dog, breath out. Take a big inhale, and a long exhale. Let your gaze land to one point or close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, and a long breath out. Once more. A big inhale here, fill up, exhale, walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana, set your feet, bend your knees. Sit down, sit back, and lift up. Feet can be together or apart. Take a moment, set your feet and feel your feet. Big bend in your knees, sit down, sit back, you can explore this. Low belly draws in and up. It's like you're trying to get your belly button to touch your spine and then draw it up towards your rib cage. Support your low back. Lift your heart, hands high or at your heart here. Take a big breath in, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands to your mat, high push up to low push up as you exhale. Upward dog, take a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Right foot steps forward, warrior one, Virabhadrasana. Spin your back foot flat. Come on up. Set your gaze, hands higher at your heart. Feel that you're pretty generous with the space between your feet. If you feel unsteady, you can always take your feet farther apart, right to left. Take a big inhale here. Open out to your warrior two. Let your front foot come a little more forward. You can adjust the angle of your back toes so they're pointing towards the side edge of your mat even a little bit forward. Now you can back off the bend in your front knee, but let that be intentional. If you unintentionally lose the bend in your front knee, sink back down, track your front knee over your front ankle. Here, spin your palms to the sky and take your right hand high, reverse your warrior. Left hand to your left leg, maybe to your low back, maybe even all the way around to the top of your right thigh. Take a big inhale here, exhale, hands come down to your mat. Step back, high push up, forward and down, low push up. Upward dog, take a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Now step your left foot forward, warrior one. Come on up, reach up. Evening out your hips, you can feel if there's room for that. Left hip back, right hip forward, not forcing, just like your breath, you don't have to force your breath. You don't have to force your body. You don't even have to force your thinking mind. So if you get distracted, just come back to your breath and come back to feeling that you are here right now for you. Take a big inhale, open out to your warrior two. And it can be your practice and it can be time for you, self-care for you. 
when you take care of yourself, when you raise your vibration, and that's what I think we do when we practice, we raise our vibration, we feel better. When you do that, there's a ripple effect. Everyone that you come in contact with as you move through your day feels, right? You're taking care of yourself, you're feeling better. You're a little bit lighter, a little bit stronger. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Spin your palms to the sky and take your left hand high, reverse your warrior, reach up and go back. Find a place for your right hand that works for you. Keep the bend in your front knee long and strong through your back leg. Take a really big inhale, exhale, hands come down to your mat. Step back, high push up, forward and down, low push up. Upward dog, take a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Now bring your feet together, walk them in an inch or two, and take your right leg up to the sky. Reach your right leg high. Low belly draws it up, head hangs down. Take a big inhale. From here, step your right foot to your right thumb. Runner's lunge. Back knee lifted. Left heel pressing straight back behind you. Set your left hand under your left shoulder and twist to your right. Take your right arm up to the sky. So if it works better, you can bring your left knee down to your mat. Feel that you're supported, grounded. If you want a little lift under that left hand, you can make a fist or even put a prop under it. Feel that you're grounded, supported, and then you can rinse out. You can rinse out, let go of some of that stuff that you're carrying around, even if it is just for a breath, and lighten up. Take a big inhale, and a big exhale. Take one more big inhale. As you exhale, bring your right hand down to your mat. Keep your feet as they are, and then come on up, crescent lunge. Back heel is lifted. Again, you have the option to bring the back knee down to your mat for more support. Take a deep breath in, open out to your warrior two. Take your right hand high, reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands come down to your mat. High push up, forward and down, low push up. Upward dog, take a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Big inhale. Big exhale. Bring your feet together. Walk them in an inch or two. This just gives you more stability. Take your left leg up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. Now step your left foot to your left thumb. Your runner's lunge. Left foot is a little to your left. Your right heel, right knee lifted. That's intentional. You can always bring your right knee down to the ground for more support. Right hand under your right shoulder. Now twist to your left. Take your left arm up to the sky. If you keep your back knee lifted, feel that. That's intentional. A little bit of a lift in the back of your right knee. You're extending out through your right leg, lengthening through your spine, really long through your arms. Again, if you want a little lift under the right hand, you can come to your fist or your fingertips or put a prop under the hand. And then a long breath in and a full breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, bring your left hand down to your mat. Pause. Rise up to your crescent lunge. Keep your feet as they are. Come up. Dip into your front knee. Back knee can come down. If you keep that back knee lifted, lengthen through your back leg. Take a big inhale. Open out to your warrior two. Take your left hand high. Reverse your warrior. Exhale. Hands come down to your mat. Step back. High push up. Forward and down, low push up. Upward dog, take a big breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Take a long inhale and a long exhale. Bring your feet together a little bit forward. Right leg to the sky again. This time bend your right knee for your down dog hip opener. Let your right knee reach up. Your right foot come over. Your left heel can soften towards your mat or you can bring your left knee down. As you inhale, take your right leg back up, setting up for your half pigeon. Right knee comes forward to your right thumb. Gently bring the right knee down. Left knee comes down. Maybe there's room to walk your left leg back behind you. A block can be really helpful under your right hip here. And you can start to fold forward. If you have a lot of room to fold, you can bring your head down to your mat. If you feel like 
that's too far. You can stack your hands and rest your head on your hands or rest your head on a prop like a block. Now take a big inhale and a big exhale. And if this variation of half pigeon doesn't work for you, you can set up the variation on your back. And I talk about and demonstrate the different variations for half pigeon in my beginner series videos. The first two are free on YouTube, but you can purchase the rest of the series on my website. Whatever variation you're in here, it may not be super comfortable, but you can be comforted by your breath. Take a big inhale. And a big exhale. Set your hands under your shoulders. Start to lift your torso. Tuck your back toes under and come back to your downward facing dog. And if it feels better to come into a child's pose, you can work with that here. Take a long breath in. And a long breath out. And bring your feet together and a little bit forward. Lift your left leg to the sky. Bending your left knee, your down dog hip opener. Your knee still reaches up. Your foot reaches to the right. And you can work with your right knee on your mat so it's more of a tabletop variation. On your inhale, take your left leg back up. Now you are half pigeon on this side. Guiding your left knee towards your left thumb. Right knee comes down. Sometimes there's room to help the foot across. So on this side, the left foot a little to your right. Lengthen your right leg. Again, maybe a prop under your hip or your chest as you come forward. Maybe under your forehead. Big inhale. And a long exhale. So if it's not super comfortable, just meet the challenge with your breath and feel that all of this is part of taking care of yourself. If it doesn't work for you, if it hurts or it just doesn't work, you can't breathe, then set up the variation on your back, right? You're empowering yourself and you're taking care of yourself. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. And it does feel really empowering, I think, to feel that you're taking care of yourself, that you're doing something good for you, and everyone will benefit as a result. Self-care is not selfish. Take another deep breath in, and a long breath out. And set your hands under your shoulders. Start to come up here. Simply sweep your back leg out and around in front of you and then lie down on your back. Draw your knees into your chest. Give them a squeeze. And then set up for your Shavasana. If you want to add in your twist, you can. Here you can take your legs out or up. Maybe feet flat and knees together for a little more support in your low back. Let's take a deep breath in and a long breath out.
toes, bringing some movement back into your body, drawing your knees into your chest. Roll to one side and slowly make your way to seated. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your gaze, lower your gaze, or close your eyes. And together, let's take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Drawing your thumbs to your forehead, to your third eye center. Together we say, Namaste. Today was about self-care. This practice is a practice in self-care. So today you might take a moment or two and just reflect on what are your other self-care practices? Do you have some? Do you need to add some in? And maybe you journal about it as well, but at least take a moment or two and think about how can you take care of yourself because you are worth it. I'm Heather, I'm the Bent Yogi. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you on your mat tomorrow.